Yo, what up guys? Welcome back to Sneaker Stories. As always, I'm your host Chris Jack. Today, a very, very, very good day here in the room. I think I finally found my all-time favorite Ultra Boost. So without further ado, let's check out the all-new Korean exclusive Ultra Boost, Show Me The Money. All right, so first things first, huge shout out to the guys who managed to make this shoe happen for me. As mentioned, it was a career exclusive. It was a serious mission to get. Uh, I had to get a friend of a friend in Korea to send them. And that has some funny stories in it as well, which you're gonna wanna stick around till somewhere near the end of the review where I reveal what I found inside this shoe. Now, before we get into the review itself, just some background information on what Show Me The Money actually is and why this collab exists. So Show Me The Money is a Korean rapper contestant musical elimination, massive production, kind of like a game show. Think idols, but with rappers. Now me, probably like most of you out there have never heard of what Show Me The Money is, but who cares when the shoe is this good? Oh. They really, really, really are just so good. Honestly speaking, I haven't been this excited about a pair of shoes for so long now. It is really, really incredible to have these in hand. But that all aside, onto the review and starting underneath with the outsole, they've kept this completely white here with the continental rubber overlay. The torsion system here is kind of a dark graphite-y color. It's got a little bit of a pearly kind of finish to that, which is a really nice touch. And then flipping up to the midsole of the shoe, they've kept that completely white. This is definitely my favorite coloring of Boost. You know, they get black Boost, you get blue Boost, to get yellow boost, red boost, all kinds of different colors in boost. But to be honest, nothing beats white boost on foot, at least in my opinion. And now getting to the best part about this particular shoe, a 1.0 knit. It's like this revival of ultra boost love. Like I just remember getting so excited for so many of these consortium releases, etc., when they were coming out a couple of years ago. So much hype around ultra boost and it kind of faded away after a while, but the 1.0s are coming back. They're sneaking in there somewhere. I'm just like, give me more. And speaking about that 1.0 knit in absolutely all its glory, they have included a 3M reflective silver knit in here. So you will have those reflective properties under flash or certain light at night. And keeping with the 3M, the three stripes here are painted in metallic silver and they also are reflective. And swinging around to the back of the shoe, the heel collar and heel section here are done in a creamy white, so giving you a really awesome contrast of color between the cream white and the white upper in the front. And also just solidifying this as a 1.0 in it. And keeping with the white theme, the heel counter over here is completely white. It is a matte finish and then you have a matte black ultra boost branding on both of the shoes. Now from a lacing perspective, these come standard laced with white rope laces with 3M reflective hints in there. They do not provide you with a second set of laces. In my opinion, you definitely do not need to change any kind of lace up with this particular pair. They are just so, so clean, it's frightening. Now moving on to some details on the shoe, one of my favorite parts of this particular pair is the use of the Show Me The Money Skull logo that's been done on the right hand tongue section. And then as one would expect, the Adidas Performance logo on the left shoe. Now just to show you the insoles, as you'll notice, left and right are completely the same. They've kept that completely white with the Show Me The Money Season 8 logo printed on the heel sections. And then just to show you the boxes, this is something quite new. Some of you might not have seen it. They have done an update to the Ultra Boost boxes for 2019. I saw it for the first time recently on the restock of the Solar Yellow and the Solar Red pairs. Uh, but the box basically folds out from the top. So you've got two sections like that. And then you've got the updated Ultra Boost logo and Adidas Performance logo on the paper. Now, one thing I really, really wish I had on camera, and I did allude to it a little bit earlier, that there was something found in one of these shoes. And it only happened uh, when I decided to put them on my feet just before I started reviewing this. I pulled out just under that little cardboard insert in the shoe, a little envelope over here. And I was like, okay, maybe that's a receipt or something like that. But when I opened it, uh, there was, uh, <laughs> there was um, 3000 Korean won. Now, I don't know about you, but I've never ever found money sitting in a pair of shoes that I've just bought in from overseas. Uh, couldn't really work out why it was there. Did it come with the shoes? The shoes are called Show Me The Money. It's just like, you know, I don't know, maybe, maybe not. Anyway, funny story, it turns out the value I asked the uh, plug, <laughs> oh boy. As it turns out, the value that I asked the uh, plug-in career with a communication barrier to declare on the invoice, uh, he thought put that cash in the invoice. And I just want to say a, sh it, 
massive shout out to you because you absolutely made my year. That is the funniest thing I've ever got. So now I'm sitting with, with a bunch of uh, Korean money that I can't do anything with. <laughs> But yeah, I hope you guys found that as funny as I did, at least opening it. Maybe it was just me. I don't know. Let me know in the comments. But overall speaking, this generally is one of the cleanest Ultra Boost ever created. I'm so sad that it was a career exclusive because they are pretty difficult to get uh, your hands on, obviously, if you're on the other side of the world like me. But I really do enjoy its exclusivity as well at the same time because not everyone's going to be able to have a pair of these. But if you do want to get a pair of them, you're going to have to look to the resale market. I know places like StockX and goats are selling them now at least with sellers through their websites for around 250 to 350 dollars depending on your size and for those of you in south africa who haven't used StockX before i did make a video on the real cost of importing sneakers to south africa you can see that down in the description below if you haven't watched it already and from a size perspective standard ultra boost size for me that's true to size on this particular pair and last but not least if you like the details and the materials etc on this particular pair but are scared of all white shoes there is a black version as well. It looks like that. But that's it for today's review. I'm putting these on my feet for the rest of the week for sure. Hope you guys enjoyed it, found it insightful. And if you're new around here, please hit the subscribe button right here and turn your notifications on for all future videos and content like this. But that's it from me. I'll catch you on the next one.